Steve, good afternoon. Neil Rowland, Radio Island Marina and Boat Sales. We are aboard the 30 Rampage Express 2000. What we're going to do is we're going to walk you through some systems of the boat. Uh, what I'd like to do first, while the boat is all hooked up to shore powers, I'd like to walk you through the cabin. So, if you would, walk with me. had ventured into the cabin. Right now you've got two ship to shore powers. As you can see right here, as they're plugged in right now, dockside power one or two and dockside power one. Everything that one is going to control as well as two. What I'm going to do is we're going to got our switches turned on so I'm going to show you some of the operating systems. First of all we have cabin lights that are coming on. We have a CO2 sensor that is going to sit over here in the corner. And I know that works personally because as I explained to you two weeks ago on the sea trial, when we lost an exhaust hose. We have a sitting table here. We have another one that is sitting below. This will fold out and make out into a bunk. We have storage. Adequate storage down below. There's our separate table as well as you see cleaning supplies. We also have access below. Access below, this is going to be a fresh water as well as a waste tank, holding tank. Now that holding tank also has a macerator so that we can pump out below the boat. walk into the bathroom. Five eleven. Plenty of room. This makes into a nice head as well as we have a fan. Also makes into a full shower. I can take the shower here and draw all the way around as well as shower here. I'm going to turn the light off in here. All right, as we make our way over to the kitchen area, I have a refrigerator. It works. As a matter of fact, I've got it cut on right now, and we can feel the drinks are nice and cold. As I move up to the top with a lock, we have an electric top, stove top, and I'm gonna let that kind of warm up a little bit. You, as a matter of fact, we let it warm up a little bit, we could smell, you know, with the cooking. Microwave. So, what we'll do here, just for a quick microwave check, we will go. See how we there we go. So when you're at the dock, if you want to heat up popcorn, heat up a leftover meal, as you can tell here, and then here, as it's getting very warm. Now, as I explained to you earlier, the boat has been winterized, so there is no fresh water aboard the boat here. You have, we also have a hot water heater on the boat, so you would come here to access. Boat's very nice, plenty of storage. And then as we venture over here, storage, more storage. All right, let's show you. All right, we are aboard in the Ford of the Ford Berth. You've got a nice size, I would say it's a double size bed um, that you can sleep up here. As you can see, it is well lit behind. Now, if we're out there for a day of rod or fishing, we have, and you will notice up above, 
storage for our rods up top. We also have a skylight. So those beautiful summer days, if we're down and we're anchored up and we can bring some air into here, as well as closets, nice closet space. As you can see right now, we've got two damper-rid bags hanging in there. That's to keep the moisture out of the boat. And those are placed over the forward berth as well as in the back. I want to show you the AC and the heat. Now being here in the winter time, right now we currently have the heat on. And that just kind of keeps everything from freezing up down here in the winter time. I can also go to cool and I can also control my fan speed. We'll go to, let's, matter of fact, let's do this. Let's crank the temp. Crank it up a little bit. Let's see if we can get some. There we go. I've got a 12 volt plug in right here. The only thing that I could not get to work is the Clarion stereo. Um, Dale, the gentleman that owns the vessel, said that he was having problems with the Clarion as well. So it could be just a simple fix that it needs a, a new simple little radio. Um, something I want to show you real quick as well is more access, easy access to the vessel's pumps. I'm going to come right here and I'm going to open up and as you can see, easy access to hoses and pumps. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to venture out of the cabin and we're going to visit to the helm. Steve, here we are. We're at the helm right now. I just want to go over some stuff that's located here at the helm. The gentleman put on a 7608 SXV, which is a chart plotter, which you can see here. It's all touch screen. We can go to home. I can do charts. Sonar. I have my autopilot, which is a Raytheon autopilot. I'm moving over here to my Icom VHF as well as an old school Furuno uh, radar. These I made very, very good radars, even though they are old, they pick up. Kind of show you a little bit of things up here at the, uh, at the dash with our navigation lights and anchor lights. Of course, that's all gonna be forward. We have courtesy lights, which are gonna be up here in the top. We've got red and then we have two LEDs behind me. Um, we're going to spreader lights spreader lights are going to be outside as a matter of fact you can see the light through uh, sitting on the fishing rod holder we move up here with our fish box fish box as well as a fish box drain and you can hear the motor in the back you'll hear that a little bit more tomorrow we have our raw water wash down we have a water auxiliary for our bait we come over here to cut on all this here. We have to use our accessory one and two switch. We have an aft bilge. We have the forward bilge. Windshield wipers. We can see that work real quick. And then we have our horn. And you'll hear that a little. And then we have our trim tabs. Um, and then of course we have all of our gauges up here that are going to tell us our fuel. As well as our port and starboard which way we're kind of leaning. RPMs, hours you can see are 931. Anyways, uh, we're going to run the boat. Um, you can see up here you've got adequate room for your passengers, your helm seat. This is going to give me access below. You can see the new hose that was put on the starboard engine. And then you can see our radar. Up top, it's an open array radar. I want to say it's a 24 mile radar. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off. We're going to run to the inlet, headed towards the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, a gentleman that works with us got his captain's license, Richard Howard. Richard will be running the boat this evening for us. What we'll do is we're going to do a virtual sea tour. We're going to run the boat. We're going to get the boat up on plane, and we're going to cruise for just a little bit. And we're going to kind of ease into kind of a a max speed. We'll be very easy into that max speed. So. Our next trip, we're going to untie and we're headed out to the inlet. We'll see you then.